Hi, everyone. It's good to have you here. Well, it's been a long, long time that I've been collaborating with uh, Chailing, Mark, Josh, Zach. It's a pleasure. Uh, it's been a really important day for me. So we're going to share it, uh, how we're going to tokenize the world access of tomorrow. Uh, first of all, this uh, conference has to be done in Spanish at first. But I don't know how many Spanish are here. If not, I'm going to do it in English. Please raise your hand if you have no problem if I do it in English. Yeah, OK, most of the people, I think people are abroad. OK, let's going to do it in Spanish at the time. We are right now in a really important moment, not only due to technology, also because people are moving towards technology, our law are moving also towards to that point. We've got lots of regulations, we've got lots of changes. People think what we could do with all this tokenization, and tokenization has become a reality. First thing first, everyone is expecting when it's going to happen tomorrow with the ETF linked to Ethereum. So we're going to do it that everything has to be done with technology. And one of the most important things to certify what people got it and what people has at the time are oracles. We understood it, that oracles has become the intrinsic part of this transaction. But tokenization of any kind of assets will make us easier, faster, and also it will become a reality. Long time ago, people were talking what's going on in South Asia, what's going on in America, why we cannot do it in several places. But now, a day, tokenization, any kind of asset, it's easy. We hope that maybe between two to three years, every single transaction of real estate buildings will be done it. So here in Spain, it's one of the most important transactions. People is waiting for that. From the European level, as you, you may know, we got MICA regulation. This MICA regulation has become a new change for crypto asset, but also has put one step forward all the financial system. So we got it. Traditional assets, we got financial assets, and one is the most important thing, what people cares about it. People cares about it, about their own stuff, their own puppies, their own watches. Every single thing will gonna be tokenized. And when we talk about tokenized, the people said, Kim, it's really difficult to sell this world to the big players, to the big companies. We're going to start talking about digitalization. China has done it before. But I think that this digitalization will go, and underneath we've got this blockchain technology. And we're going to sell, buy, as we do it with our cell phone or with other equipment, so easy, so chat. And the thing that everyone asks is, it's going to be legal, and it's going to be legal for sure. That's the thing that we have to go with for it. Do it things that technology has already been done it, and we're going to show it two, three years ago. Now it's going to be 100% legal. We got luxury companies using this technology for their own, not only NFTs, but also for premium clothes or premium articles. These things will go step by step. Also, we got in New York. We got a new restaurant in New York, I think, two Michelin stars that you cannot go enter and order food if you don't got this NFT. No matter this if uh, it's just an NFT. It's a change. It's a cultural change. And also, it's legal. So we're going to start sharing all these kind of assets, how things will be linked one to another, and that's what's going to change the world. To conclude, the things that we understood in the past that were not possible, and people said to us, no, 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 that's technology, that nobody cares about it, it's something that is useless. It's become really important because big companies understood that they can reduce amount of transaction, not only in financial, and the other way around, traceability. When we talk about traceability, is that companies understood that these things will have to be done, it has to be traceable and can measure what's sell it while it's buy it and at the end what's the best for us. So think, understand that tokenization, that's something that has to be done it, it's gonna be done it for sure. And regulation that two, three years ago were against about it, it's gonna be a four of a thing. So we got in states that 
financial assets are certified. We got some issues with SEC. South Asia or Middle East understood that you know, in South, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Emirates, they understand that the future of administration, that everything has to be certified with trustability tokenization. So the word tokenization that people think that has no, th no meaning at all, it has become such a reality. So let's go for it. Let's do it right. Everything will take time, but for sure, in two or three years, I will be no company that won't use this technology. And for us, the best as any other application that we got it, any other player in these big areas will become one of this great, great network. Not, there's no only one technology that's a solution. Everyone is talking about artificial intelligence and their benefits and words again. We got a technology that this technology solves problems that people need to be solved right now. The only thing that we needed, it's a killer app. And when we talk a killer app, it's something that breaks the mind of one of the biggest companies. Once a big company understood the potential and will share it to the whole community, nobody will take any more about tokenization. They will say, well, I've just sell it a house. I've just sell my car. And that's the thing that we have to understand it. We've done a long way around. Technology is here to stay. But now that we got this regulation, that's the hardest part, and the legal department of the big companies understood that it's a solution, will give us the power to boost this potential and that every single asset in two, three, four years, I think that will be able to be tokenized and transferred. And for us, it's once again the beginning of a new era. The owner, the identity, it's back to us. And we have to deal with that and assure that any transaction that we're dealing with third party, that sometimes we don't know who it is, it's safe because we own that asset. So that's the point I wanted to share with you. I, don't want, I didn't want to talk about regulation, what's going on, and that's it, because everybody knows that. But we have to understand that from legal perspectives and also from CEOs' companies, when you talk with them to tokenization, it's not the, what are you talking to me about? That's the thing that you heard two, three years ago. Or, no, 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 I ban everything linked to crypto assets. Now they, they understand it, that's a solution. But we have to use it and to give a solution to the problem. If we got that, we got the key for everything. So thank you very much for being in this conference. I hope to see you doing all these amazing two days. And thank you once again, Mark, Joss, for that.